Welcome to the Swamp, home of the Florida Gators, and we've long been told it is here that only the Gators get out alive. There's just something about the nightcap. After a day of wall-to-wall -wall football, it just seems this is when chaos ensues. As we see a squad from the Big 12, the Colorado Buffaloes, taking on a team from the SEC, the Florida Gators. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth, as always, by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Guys, let's tee this one up. And the Buffaloes will boot it away to start the game. On the move from inside is five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. The Gators' offense will get the first swing of the game. And here's the man they rally around, and he has earned that type of respect, David. You dang right. You earn it by doing it, and he's done it at such a high level. Everyone believes in this young man, and Palmer, there's a reason why. You're right, David. He's been in the big moments, and he's won the big games. This guy delivers when the game is on the line. Well, the most insightful analysis I can come up with on that one is that didn't work. Back to the drawing board to see if there's something that works a little better soon. Or if I can quote the great Reese Davis, that was very ungood. Not a productive first down play. They'll leave it with him. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Linebackers in today's football, obviously, guys have gotten smaller. They got to play in space more, cover fast guys out on the perimeter. But how about this linebacker coming downhill and making a physical tackle in the hole? Backing up and backing up on the first two plays. Now to try to throw it in drive on third down. On the move, it's Mertz. Setting up the screen. Makes his man miss. Defense was not fooled by that screen to the back, and they'll stop him short of the marker. It'll be fourth down. They'd hope to be able to pick up enough after the catch, but a good stop leaves them with a fourth and short. Really good job by the defense being physical, understanding the situation in the game. The ball's going to come out quick. You know that. Go make the tackle. Force the fourth down. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. He only needs a sliver of daylight. Returns like that are why you don't settle for the fair catch if you don't have to. Picks up just a little bit of yards to help out the O. So Colorado's offense has the ball for the first time. And a big key as this game unfolds is just how aggressive will he be throwing the football in a lockdown corner like that. Yeah, and when you're an elite quarterback, you think you can do whatever you want to do. And you think you can make the right decisions. I'm interested to see how much he'll test that cornerback on the other side. You know, there's a saying, there's no defense for a perfect pass. But he's got to be extra careful and sharp when he's throwing that guy's way. And the Buffaloes racing to the line in the hurry up. Quarterback flips it ahead quickly to the receiver. He's there to make the stop, and they threw it in reverse, losing yardage on that play. Got to give the defense credit. Watching film, anticipating. They knew that this offense had this play in their back pocket. They knew about the speed of this wide receiver and different ways they were going to try to get him involved. Everybody on defense on the same page playing together. I love it. And a missed opportunity on third down as the defense knocks it free and fourth down is coming up. This is a point where you just got to be able to focus. And the critical down and distances in this game, like that third down right there, when it's a good throw, you got to make the catch. You've got to be able to make that play. The Buffaloes will punt it away on fourth down. He'll try to really get into this one. Was looking for more running room, but found nothing but more tacklers. He's down at the 24. Florida has the ball back, and here comes the offense. Power football with the run. Good blocking, good running pickup of six out to the 30. I, I like it. Just frustrate the defense. Get that five to six yards. Make them honor the run. Make them know that you're willing to run the football and run it effectively. Six-yard pickup on first down. Leaves him with second and four. Here's a quick throw out to the left. 
tackled after picking up the first down. He threw that one with some serious heat. This senior quarterback doesn't need a lot of space to get it in there. From the 39-yard line, it's first and 10. It's a draw. And I think they'll give him two on that one, second and eight coming up. All right, well, the offense here, they're trying to get this run game established. They obviously don't break off a long run there, but they're just trying to find their footing at this point. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Back to pass, it's Mertz gets it out quickly. He puts him in business across the 50 into the 46-yard line. It'll be first down. Yeah, I don't know defensively if you want to keep giving this guy that much cushion because when he gets the ball in space, he's able to shake all these defenders and turns a five-yard completion into a first down. The Gators are rolling down the field. Grab behind the line. It's Badger. I like the decision by the quarterback here. Just get the ball out of your hands, get it to your playmaker. A lot of times he'll dance and make even bigger plays than he did here, but it was still a positive game. They'll go to work on second down after doing damage on the ground. They'll give it to Johnson, and they'll bring him to the ground after a short game. Now this defense could really use a stop on third down as the offense has had its way. He'll keep it himself. That'll be enough for the first down as they mark it down at the 31-yard line. There's an example of the offense taking advantage of all the attention the defense is giving this outstanding running back. Remember, he's one of the best in the game. They're expecting him to get the football. So the quarterback says, you know what? I'll just keep it. No one's keying on me. I'm going to get upfield and find an explosive play. The inside handoff. They'll pick up four, second and six coming. And it's just simple. Simple first down run, showing your physicality, setting your offense up in a good spot. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. They'll run it from the gun. Tough run in this part of the field. He's got four down to the 23. I think that was an example of the offensive coordinator trying to help out his quarterback. He's trying to keep these third downs manageable. You know, you throw the ball on second down and it's incomplete. Now you've set up third and long, and now you're set up to fail. Here they come up to the 23-yard line, not thinking field goal, wanting to convert this third and short. Quick release on the RPO. And the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. And on that third and short, I don't think he was unhappy to see that zone. Nope, there's a great job by the offense. Hey, see where the holes in the zone are? Sit down. You only need a little bit of yards on this third down. Get the conversion. Move the sticks. Give to the running back. And he is just engulfed at the line by this giant defensive tackle. It's hard to run on a defense that comes off the ball like that and runs to the football like that. Good luck. No holes anyway. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. They'll go to the ground. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Everybody talks about DBs. They talk about dropping in coverage and not being physical. <laughs> That DB begs to differ. Great tackle coming up, playing physical like a linebacker. Twelfth play of the drive coming up, but they've got a long way to go here on third down. Dropping back, it's Mertz. Fires to the right. Touchdown, Florida! And they made it to the house when they found that six points waiting on them.
They'll try to add another to their lead. And he's got the extra point, and it's 7-0 to start this one. Precise, relentless execution on that 13-play scoring drive. And the capper, a 19-yard toss for the touchdown. The kickoff unit about to go to work. And he takes this from inside the five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Time winding down in the quarter as they come to the line. One running back in the backfield, and he has it. Solid run, picks up six and gets it to the 28. We've come to the end of the quarter, and it's Florida on top. And after that first quarter, let's see if these guys can get back in the game in the second. We'll start the quarter offense about to snap it on second down. A quick pass on the jet motion. He makes the tackle at the 33 after a pickup of five. And you think about when you hit those guys on the move, man, he's already flying so fast, and I got to adjust my angle as a DB and make sure I keep outside contained, and it's just a... It's a really easy play to run to get positive yards, especially in a situation like that where you're looking for the first down. You run that play, you get it. Nice, easy, breezy. They'll give it to the back. And he'll make his way out of bounds after the solid pickup. Keep pounding away at this defense and make them play the run. If you can get this many a chunk, they're going to have to commit more guys to the box, more guys to the run. Then you open it up for the pass again. And the Buffalo is moving quickly to the line. Looking to throw at Sanders. Let's it fly on him. Fires in the traffic. Picked off. He was trying to get that return going instead. He'll hand it to his offense at the 38. Most defenses are lucky if you have one good covering corner. Fewer are lucky if you have two. They've got three DBs, three corners that can play at the same time in their nickel package that they feel can go mano a mano with anyone in the country. And you saw it on that last play coming with it. The Gators sending the offense back to work. Man, what a drive last time for the touchdown. That passing attack was lethal, David. Yeah, and you know, you hear all these stupid commentators like me and Jesse talking about create balance, you know, run and pass. No, when you throw that good, spin the ball around. So the defense has to find a way to affect the quarterback on this drive because last drive, he had way too much time to throw. After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. He's looking to throw. Grabbed over the middle. It's Badger. And he's to the 48-yard line. That'll be good enough for a first down. I'll tell you what, that's great execution between the QB and receiver. They look like they could execute that throw in their sleep. The quarterback took his steps, threw it on time. Great route by the receiver. Nice job securing the catch. They'll line up right at the 48-yard line on first and 10. He's looking to throw it. He's got his man. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-gain land. Offenses want to get the ball to their playmakers really fast. And they try to throw the wide receiver screen, but how about the defender? He was right there in his space, got him on the ground as soon as he caught it. He was ready for that. Play. Now on second down. He's looking to throw. Gets it out fast. Some really tough running there gets him to the 45-yard line. I know we're a long way up here in the booth, but guys, y'all remember that ball you could throw that whistled? That thing was whistling. It had so many RPMs on it. A completion, but not quite enough for the first down. Third down coming for this offense. They'll stick to the ground looking for the marker. Third down conversions are huge, and they've got one, and they're at the 35. And 
here we go. If you're an offense, you've got to get that ground game going so you can have some balance, and then you give it to your quarterback, Palmer, and let him make some plays down the field later on. Yeah, exactly. And you know, coming into this game, this offense knew they were going to have to some way, somehow, at least establish a semblance of a running game for exactly what you just said. You've got to be able to use play-action pass later in this game to get some explosive plays down the field. And it's a play like that that we just saw, which can help them get that going. They're about to run a dirty half dozen plays on this drive. Looking to throw, it's Mertz. Working that left side now. A quick tackle made, but he's got plenty for the first down. And this has got to be so demoralizing for this defense right now, having given up multiple first downs on this drive. Somebody on defense has to step up, make a play, and stop the bleed. The Gators getting set on first and ten. He's going to pass. Fires to the wideout. And the physical play there forces the incompletion on first down. After the quarterback and receiver failed to hook up, they'll try it again on second down. To the ground with the back. They get him down, but not before he picks up five down to the 17-yard line. It's going to be important this offensive line is able to get a little bit of push. You just got to give this guy an inch, a little crease, and he can make yards for it. And the Gators have pushed it inside the 20. Snap from the gun on third down. He makes a catch at the end zone. Touchdown, Gators! That touchdown gives this team a pretty significant lead at this point. And that's what you want. You want to start fast. You want everything to come out and start clicking, make some plays. It doesn't always work that way, but when you do, man, the energy, the crowd, everybody's into it. Now the other team better respond. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. That drive covered 62 yards for the touchdown. And the score comes on a 17-yard throw for the touchdown. The kickoff team out there and ready to go. Here he comes from inside his own five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. Looking for space. It's Hayden. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Now we'll get a chance to see if they can answer that last score, trailing by 14, Jesse. Yeah, and at this point of the game, I feel like offensively, you should go back to what's been working for you in this game. Don't be afraid to dial up plays that you've already had success with, running it and throwing it. It's okay to repeat plays down 14 at this point. And I would also say, Palmer, kind of understanding that my defense is not playing great, so I know offensively i got to put some good possessions together here, make something happen on this side of the football. It must be nice for this quarterback knowing he's got this type of athlete playing the tight end position. They can work the middle of the field for him. He's a guy who can stretch it vertically as well, but this is a guy the QB will look for early and often in this game. To the air, it's Sanders. Trying to get to it. That pass not close as he got drilled trying to deliver it, and it'll bring up fourth down. Great job by the defense dialing up some pressure on third down. They hit the quarterback and force the incompletion. And the Buffaloes will bring the punt team onto the field. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Makes a move. He'll get it up to about the 44-yard line before they slam the brakes on him. Florida has the ball back, and here comes the offense. 
They've jumped on them, executing at a high level and up 14-0, David. This is the exact start you want. The offense is playing great. Defense has gotten stops. You're in a position now, Palmer, to put the hammer down and get a three-possession lead. I'm really impressed with their physicality on both sides of the ball early in this one. They've been winning in the trenches. So here on offense, keep running the football and show your dominance. Second down coming up. Caught in the backfield. It's Wilson. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. We've reached a two-minute warning, and they will try to build on what has already been a dominant first-half performance. Now on third down for this offense. Looking to throw for it. Connection to the right. Really nice job to convert that third down, and they've got it at the 33. And I love the awareness by the wide receiver on that play because I'm not sure that route was supposed to be that deep. You got to wonder if the receiver decided maybe to adjust the route a little bit to make sure that he got the first down. Caught in the backfield, it's Johnson. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. I'll tell you what, really good job by the defense having vision on the quarterback. And as soon as he threw that football, man, they broke on the football right away, didn't waste time, and got the running back on the ground for no gain. And here comes the offense on second down. On the run, it's Mertz. Using the back as a receiver on the screen. Not a whole lot of room there on that screen pass as it just never developed. Yeah, and you're going to see this offense find different ways to get this running back involved. It's not just going to be on handoffs, and they're certainly going to line them up in different places and even throw them the football. But the screen game's a big part of it, too. They're trying to get him going there. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. He's got it. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. And they just want to give this guy a chance to make a play on third down. And more times than not, he is going to deliver. And he's so good, so efficient, such a good route runner, got the speed, got the complete game. So you definitely want to highlight him, and especially on those downs that matter the most. If something's not open quick underneath, reels it in in the end zone. Touchdown, Florida! And it's now the second time this wide receiver has scored. Another outstanding job with the route. Great job securing the catch. They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, they're up 21 to nothing. They marched 56 yards to the end zone. And the score comes on a 12-yard touchdown pass. The kickoff team out there set to boot it away. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. Makes the grab. It's Hunter. They stop him just a link or two short of the first, and man, what they can do on second down here. And they'll come to the line just needing a few chain links for a first down. He's looking for an open man on second down. The quick out. Gets it out to the 38-yard line after picking up 10 on that one. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. Wants to throw on first down. Quickly complete. Still on his feet at the 45. And perhaps a touchdown-saving tackle as he gets him down at the 37. And there was no question in that scenario. That's where the quarterback was going. He knew he had his receiver in a matchup that he liked, running a route where he would find himself open. Nice job between those two. The Buffaloes want to pick up the tempo. Trying to find his man on first down. And his throw is incomplete. 
quarterback there just trying to go to his primary target, and they're just not on the same page. Time dwindling away as they try to put points on the board right before the half. To the air, it's Sanders. This time on target. They'll use a timeout right before halftime. Maybe time for one or two more plays. And it's third down, but they're going to go ahead and try the field goal and try to get points before the break. Never a doubt for this big-footed guy. 49-yard field goal is good. So they get the late field goal right before the half and not much time after this kickoff for an answer. From inside his own 10, he'll try to help out their field position. Able to find enough room to get it out across the 25, he's brought down at the 26. So the offense doesn't want to take a chance here. They'll just come out and take a knee and wrap up the half. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin and our halftime update. Thanks, guys. What a scene there in Gainesville. What a fine college football game we've got. And there is no better place to start this halftime than by reviewing how this wideout has been a one-man wrecking crew. The kid's been everywhere. And I love how he's willing to go across the middle, but that he also has the Jets to burn these DBs on the deep ball. If this defense wants to actually come back in this one, they better hide his cleats. With that said, let's send it back to our guys and all those chomping hands there in the swamp. The Gators will kick it off to start the second half. Fielded in the end zone, it's Horn. I know he thinks he can house every return, but sometimes you just have to take a knee as he stopped at the 14. They'll open the second half with a run. And he's almost to that first down marker there, saying he's a little bit short. They might want to bring out the sticks and measure, but it looks as if he'll be just short of the first down. And the Buffaloes come to the line in the hurry up. Direct snap. Breaks the tackle. That's the kind of play that can really get you going as they get it out to the 36. You're down. Obviously, at the half, you had a conversation. we got to come out and put points on the board. And, Jesse, it looks like they're going to start with the ground game. And I love this, David, too. Regardless of whether they're losing or they're winning, come out here and try to be the most physical unit here in the second half. Get this run game established. From the shotgun, the inside give. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. They tried to run the counter, but absolutely nothing doing. And those counter plays take a little longer to develop sometimes. You're usually pulling one or two guys, and that penetration in the backfield can kill you and get to the running back before he can start. Looking downfield, it's Sanders. Using the quick game. They get him down at the 49, but not before he picks up 15. After giving up a few extra yards after a hitch throw, I wonder if this defense is going to want to give this guy this much access moving forward. They might be thinking about more press coverage or playing some zone coverage where the corner's right up on. And the Buffaloes are marching down the field. From the shotgun, they'll run it. Got the first down and more. They'll stop him at the 41, but he's got 10 yards, and they'll move the chains. Well, the offense knew what they needed to get that first down, so they dial up the running play, and they get just enough to keep the drive alive. 
Here's an opportunity for this offense in search of its first touchdown. It's first and ten. Use the play fake. Now to throw. And the defense will corral the quarterback. And down he goes at midfield. Oftentimes with play action, you're asking the quarterback to hold on to the ball a bit longer, and you're asking this offensive line to hold up and pass pro a bit longer. Against this athletic front seven on defense, it's going to be tough. That is the last thing you want on first down as an offensive sack. Now it's second down. He's looking to throw. They'll run the screen. Still running at the 40. They bring him down, but a solid pickup to put them in position to pick up a first down. You want to talk about building a drive around a guy first on the ground and now using him in the passing game. And you get so much bang for your buck because you can split him out wide. You can fake it to him and throw it. This is the guy that really stretches the field and makes you decide how you want to defend him. A linebacker, a safety, whatever it is, it's usually not good enough when he's receiving a ball out of the backfield. Back to throw. It's Sanders. And it's picked off. Not much of a chance on the return, but they'll have the ball at the 33. Well, I think it's pretty safe to say this guy's going to be getting a helmet sticker. That now his second interception of the game. He has just been lights out here today. The Gators sending the offense back to work. Quarterback quick pass to the receiver. He is stopped behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose yards on that one. Really good job by the defense seeing it and going and getting it. Nice job understanding the touch pass. It could happen. Those guys go in motion, man. I got to understand. Safety's got to see that and start flying down, getting ready to play that. Nice job by the defense being ready for that play. Looking to pass on second down. Quick strike complete. He's really close to that first down marker, but they stop him just a bit short. Man, these plays are really, really simple. Really easy to run. I like it. Just drop back as a quarterback, see the big fella, wait for him to get open, hit him, get a nice positive game. Ball is at the 42-yard line, close to four down territory. Here's third and short. They'll try to move the chains on the ground. And the defense stands up this offensive line and stuffs him right at the line of scrimmage. He didn't get it. That back had nowhere to go. The defensive line ate up the blocks. But how about the linebacker swarming in, coming in and making a great play on the ball carrier? The Gators will call on their punt team. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. And they'll haul down the returner to start us on the next drive. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. That last drive was promising for a while, but you just can't mess it up at the end with the pick, Jesse. No, you've got to be able to finish drives, especially in this game, if you're going to win it, David. They've got to be able to eliminate the mental mistakes. Yeah, and I don't think you get conservative or play it safe. You can trust your guy. I think you put the ball right back in his hands and let him do his thing. They'll spread the defense out, going five wide on second and ten. Looking for a man. It's Sanders. Quickly complete. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. And that's a good job by the drag route there, understanding its zone coverage. So instead of continuing to run across the field, he settles down into an open spot, making it easy for his quarterback. The Buffaloes in the hurry up. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. Oh, they really could have used that catch. Their physical pass defense, it brings up a fourth down. Well, after struggling so much in the first half, you thought they would have made some adjustments here at halftime to see if they can open up this passing game. But early on in the second half, you're just not really able to get that done. Incompletion on third down in your own end, you're expecting them to punt. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Running it back, it's Hawkins. And the returner goes down. Florida has the ball back, and here comes the offense. 
They'll have another opportunity to extend this lead after punting last time, David. And it's important to put that punt behind you. It's, it's over. Let it go. Get back to what you were doing that built this lead, Paul. Yeah, and defense, obviously, they won a few downs uh, that last drive. So we got to put them on their heels here. Maybe mix up a few personnel groupings and try to show them some pictures they haven't seen yet. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. The handoff to Johnson. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. That linebacker saw the express lane right to the ball carrier. And a great job by the defensive line getting some push, making them use their resources on him. Linebacker comes free, making the backfield for a tackle for a loss. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Got his man in the middle. And they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep them from getting the first down. Defense is about learning the plays. Third down, what do they like to do? How do they do it? So far, the offense having a little bit of success, but the defense now, you got to figure out what they're doing. And the Gators have it with a first and ten. The give to the back. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. Great job by the whole defense, but how about the little bitty defensive back throwing his face in the fan? I ain't scared. I don't just cover guys. I make tackles. Couldn't get him blocked on that last one. Now it's second and 14. Looking for a man. It's Mertz. And he really needed to hold on to that one, but it was not loose, and third down is coming. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. On third and long, you'll have to turn it loose deep. Grabbed in the backfield. It's Badger. He ended up going backwards on the play, and they will not convert that third down. Well, give the defense credit on that one, because they knew coming into this one that they were going to try to get this receiver the ball in a variety of ways. They were ready for the screen there, and they create a negative play. The Gators decide to punt it away. Punt goes out of bounds, and a really nice job as they stick them deep in their own end. They'll mark it around the 10. They'll run the RPO and fire to the right. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down marker. We've come to the end of the quarter, and it's Florida on top. This has been utter domination through three quarters, and the stats will back that up. One more quarter to play, and it might be unlikely, but hey, it's college football. Comebacks happen. He wants to throw here on second down. Getting some heat. Blasted as he lets it go. Really nice job there by both guys to throw and the catch to work that defense and get the first down. This defense better not blink. I know they've got a lead here in the fourth quarter, but just look at who they're going against. This quarterback is one of the best in the nation. They cannot rest on their laurels. Someone's going to have to make a play. And the Buffaloes headed quickly to the line. Coming out on first down with the play fake. Got it in the middle, it's Hunter. A huge play, and they get it all the way to the 45-yard line. And there's no quit in this team. Obviously, they're trailing late in the game, but they're trying to make it happen. We've seen two big plays now, back-to-back. -back. They're putting pressure on this defense. The offense getting set for a first down from the 45. He'll pull it on the read. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. I just love the individual one-on-one -on -one effort by the defense there. Offense trying to go option. QB keeps it, but just too many defenders winning their one-on-one -on -one battles, defeating blocks, and getting the tackle for loss. Last play was a near disaster. Now dealing with second and 13. 
looking to throw at Sanders. And it's picked off again. His night vision hasn't been on par. Didn't let him get loose on the return, but he'll take it as they have the ball at the 47. And as a defensive lineman late in the game, man, when you know it's passed, you're pinning your ears back trying to get to the quarterback. And DBs are trying to do this. Pad them stats, get the INT. Nice job by this team. The Gators sending the offense back to work. They missed an opportunity to extend this lead the last time they had it, Jesse. Yeah, they got to be able to regain that momentum, right? Go back to what was working earlier on in this one. And, David, to me, that starts with being the more physical team. No, I definitely agree. Being the more physical team, but understanding the situation of the game. You're still winning. You got the football back. Now put a nice drive together and execute. Got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. Wide receiver now comes in motion. They'll give it to Johnson. And he's able to bounce off one tackle, but still not a whole lot of running room. And, you know, when we talk about great third down defenses, it really starts with them getting stops on first and second down. You've got to get those stops early in the drives to set up third and long. So that's a missed opportunity on that second down by this defense. He's going to look for a man on third and short. Ryan's his big tight end. He gets the job done on third down. They move the chains. It's at the 37. No reason to panic when you see those extra bodies coming. Just find the big tight end. Well, and the great ones do that. The great ones are okay. You want to blitz? I know my answers. I'm all right. I'll stay patient. Find the matchup. This time it was the tight end. Finds the tight end. Throws a strike. Gets the first down. They go to the ground. Tackled at the 31, they'll give him six on the play. It's a point in the game, I think, as a coaching staff, where you really challenge your offensive line to go win the football game, right? We've got to lead late. We're going to run the football. And the defense and everybody in the stadium knows that's what's going to happen. Can we run the ball down their throats and impose our will? That's what this offense right now is trying to do. Not a whole lot of room as he gets a couple inside the 30 to the 29. They're strong and they're scrawl. Defensive tackles, they're scrawl. They're such big jokers in the middle where they just lock out those offensive linemen. And running backs, listen, they don't have much of a chance. When you got that 300 plus pound guy grabbing you around the shoulder pad, you tend to go to the ground pretty quickly. They've got it just outside the red zone. They'll move the chains. It's at the 21. I think you have to like what you see if you're the coaching staff here. Your offense is on the field, and it looks like you got a pretty good drive going. And you're just going to try and keep this thing marching, keep the clock ticking. You've got a really nice lead here late. Just want to find ways to keep the chains moving. They're doing that. A little pre-snap eye candy for the defense. And the defense, they've got him at the 27. Just a great job defensively, making him go through his progressions, and he really didn't have time to do it. And that's exactly what you do in zone coverage. You drop in your spots, you read the quarterback's eyes, make sure you take away that quick stuff, and a great job rushing the passer and getting the sack. After that five-yard loss, some work to do now to keep this drive humming at second and 15. They keep it on the ground. Clock is their friend. Tough run in this part of the field. He's got four down to the 23. And they've converted their first two third down opportunities, but a third and long is a different animal. They try to pop a run on the draw. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. We've reached the two-minute warning, and this offense will be quite content just to drain the rest of the time away. And on fourth down, here comes the field goal unit. And this one only 35 yards out, but not straight away. This one from the left hash. It's good. He could have hit a string right in the middle of the uprights there. And they'll push that lead out a little further.
That lead just keeps getting fatter in this kickoff team doing a little running. He'll bring it back looking for help. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes and they'll stop him at the 16. Colorado has the ball back and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. Working on the right. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. The offense gets a quick timeout at this point. Every second is precious. Comes out throwing on first down. Finds a tight end. And they'll shove him out of bounds after the short game. And this offense is going to have to find more explosive plays. And it's, it's, it can't just rely on the dink and dunk. It's going to have to find itself and score more points. And listen, they got beat up today. But moving on in the future, they've got some good pieces. They've got to find a way to fit them together, create some explosive plays on this offense, because today they've been lacking. Back to pass, it's Sanders. Out of the backfield, he's open. And he was just a couple of steps away from taking that one even further after the catch. Yeah, and these halfbacks, man, they're wide receivers now. They do so much work in practice now with the wide receiver group, and you can see it there. Sells like he's going outside, sticks his foot in the ground, angles to the middle of the field. Quarterback finds him for the first down. Sprinting to the line to try to get this one off. Clock's running. He'll just keep slinging it. Fires to the middle. Complete downfield. Defense makes a stop, but the chains move, and it's first and goal from the eight. The clock will stop with this timeout from the offense. They'll get a chance to regroup on the sideline. He's looking to throw. It's complete. He gets it in. Touchdown, Buffaloes. Nice job by the offense going down the field, putting points on the board, but you're still down a couple possessions. Still need some good things to happen. You need your kicker to go over there and get warmed up. We need an onside. We need to score some points. We need a lot of things to go right to win this football game. to attempt the try. And the extra point pulls them closer. It's 24 to 10. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And they finish things off with an eight-yard toss for the score. They're definitely up against it. Time running out. Down two possessions. They'll try the onside kick. Cool as a cucumber as the hands team makes a sure catch. First down here for the offense. Quarterback will take a knee. The defense can stop it one more time, but we are close to being all she wrote. 